If you're single, I think we can both agree that modern dating can really suck sometimes. In theory, it should be great, right? I mean, we have this endless choice that we can pick from, but at the same time, it's that overabundance of choice that can cause problems for both men and women on dating apps. For me personally, the issue I was having, especially with using Hinge, is I would rarely get matches, and I feel like my profile was pretty good, I think. In any case, I would only get like one to two matches per month, and the problem was is a lot of those didn't even transpire in the dates anyway, because sometimes I would send a message to them and I would never get a message back and it would just kind of fizzle out from there. And so it really is this numbers game and because I didn't have, the numbers weren't in my favor, I didn't really stand a chance using the free version of Hinge. One of the other reasons I didn't get a lot of matches was because Hinge was showing me a lot of profiles of people who I was not compatible with. And so I didn't send a lot of likes to many people. Uh, you see, I have one deal breaker and that deal breaker is I don't want kids, ever. And so if a woman has in her profile that she has kids or want kids, I immediately move on to the next profile. But my problem is that Hinge was by far showing me, the, the vast majority of the profiles they were showing me were of people who want or have kids. So that's not very helpful. And so the other problem with free Hinge is I can't set filters and otherwise I would have just set filters for, you know, people who don't want kids. So, because of my lack of matches and my inability to set filters, I decided to run an experiment to see if using Hinge X would increase the number of matches that I get and ultimately the number of dates that I went on with people. Um, the reason I decided to go with Hinge's premium plan versus, you know, like Bumble or Tinder's premium plan is because Hinge seems to be more targeted towards people who want long-term relationships, and that's really what I'm looking for uh, at this stage in my life. Hinge X is Hinge's relatively new premium top tier subscription model, and it is not cheap at $50 a month, and truthfully, it's probably operating on some pretty dark psychology here. Uh, dating apps notoriously have more men than women, sometimes being four to one in some circumstances. And so with that, for a guy to stand out on these apps, they either have to have a really specific pro profile that caters towards a sp specific person, or they need to be hot as fuck. And for me, look, I'm pretty confident. I consider myself to be a, a solid eight, but I'm not a nine and I'm not a 10. And a lot of times it's the nines and tenses, tens that get the majority of matches on these dating apps. So the main benefit of Hinge X and why I got it over Hinge Plus is that supposedly it prioritizes my likes over the likes of free users so that women see my profile sooner. And then the other main benefit for me is that I can set filters. So I can filter for people who don't want kids and don't have kids. And that way it just saves me a lot of headache from having to constantly swipe through people that I'm not compatible with. Now I've been using Hinge X for just over a month and I have to say, I am pretty impressed with the results so far. So being able to set filters has been immensely helpful for just finding people that I'm compatible with. And I have to be honest though, like uh, I thought that I was going to quickly run out of people to swipe through because I just, I had this assumption that most women want or have kids, but I have been surprised to find out that there are a lot of people in my area that do not want kids. It's just Hinge would not show them to me on the free plan. The other benefit that I have found with using HingeX is that it consistently shows me more people that I'm just more physically attracted to. And look, I get it, that might sound superficial, but I think physical attraction is important. I mean, don't get me wrong, I totally think that attraction can grow by getting to know someone, but I still think there has to be an initial attraction factor to go off of. And so I have found that Hinge X has consistently shown me more people that I'm just more physically attracted to versus free Hinge. As far as matches go, in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that with using free Hinge, I was getting about one to two matches per month. Well, with using Hinge X, I'm getting like two to three matches per week, which is like a 10X increase from using the uh, free version of Hinge, which to me is just crazy. And it, it, it's actually getting to a point to where it's overwhelming because 
Um, while a lot of the same issues arise where I might send a message and then they won't respond and it just kind of fizzles out, I'm in a scenario now where I'm chatting with three women at the same time. And honestly, I just find that to be, it's overwhelming, I think, to juggle all of that. And it's just not something that I'm used to doing. In fact, I've gone on dates with two different women in the past month, and I'm scheduling to go on a date with a third woman this week. Um, so this is all very over overwhelming, and truth be told, I don't really like juggling dates with multiple women, but I have found historically that if I invest all my emotional energy into seeing one woman, and she ends up not feeling it for some reason, I just end up with a lot more heartache versus if I am dating, seeing multiple people, if someone's not feeling it for some reason, well, it doesn't really matter that much because there's two other people. Obviously, that my long-term solution isn't to date multiple people, but I think in the initial just sort of playing the field and see who I uh, connect with, I think that having more matches is certainly a better spot to be in than having barely any. So what's the drawback to Hinjax? Well, feature-wise, not really anything. It has everything I need, but the main sticking point really is the price. $50 a month is a tremendous asking price for this uh, subscription model. And while you can save, I think it's like 20 or 30% if you pay for multiple months in advance, it's still a very steep asking price for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, I think it's worth the money because it is allowing me more opportunities to find people who I'm more compatible with. And it's just allowing me to be able to go on way more dates than I was with the free version of Hinge. And because I'm at a stage in my life where I'm looking for a long-term relationship, I think that I can justify the price tag a little bit more so than someone who is just looking for a casual fling. And so to that end, I think Hinjax is definitely worth the money for me, especially seeing the results that I've seen with it so far. All right, well, if you've enjoyed this video, definitely hit the subscribe button. This type of content isn't something that I do all the time. I mostly talk about my journey with getting into the UX industry, but I like to sprinkle in some content about just my overall life journey and just things that I learn along the way and things that I try. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you in the next one. Take care.